This is an overview for the high school services that will be provided for CLUE students for the 2020-21 school year. The Shelby County Schools program that serves gifted and talented students through enriched and challenging curriculum is called CLUE. Developed in 1970, the CLUE program has become an international model of how to serve gifted and talented students. Starting in August for the 2020-21 school year, our program will serve 3,593 students in every elementary school and in most middle and high schools. Shelley County Schools is focused on providing equity of service to all CLU students. The current pandemic limits face-to-face -face interaction with students and prevents the busing of students to alternate school sites for CLU. We also believe that gifted services must be age appropriate and relevant for all CLU students. This is the overview for students entering grade six through high school grade nine. CLU English is the English language arts class for CLU students who are provided with five hours of service through the gifted IEP. Students earn their English grade from their CLU teacher. Students use a differentiated curriculum that incorporates the district's adopted textbooks as well as the CLU strategies. Students attending a school where there are not enough CLU students to make up a CLU English class are provided with consultation services. There are two ways for us to deliver instruction. First, we have face-to-face -face instruction. That is where the students and the teacher are in the same room or meeting over Google Meets. Students will meet in groups of four to 15 for five hours per week as noted in the CLU IEP. This could be all five hours face-to-face. -face. This could be a combination of face-to-face -face and meeting in our CLU 901 G Suite for Google Meets. We also will provide online instruction for students who are at home. We will provide the service hours for your students using regular synchronous class meetings, which means that the teachers and the students are meeting at the same time on Google Meets, or asynchronous independent work for which teachers will provide targeted feedback. So CLUE teachers will still teach four classes and maintain two planning periods, one for IEP meetings and one for PLC and planning meetings. Teachers serving students on consultation will provide online instruction to supplement the typical hour per week they meet face-to-face -face with students. Students this year on consultation will also join with their intellectual peers inside the Google Classroom so that their services are comparable. Here's a sample high school weekly schedule for a CLU teacher. So this teacher does not travel from school to school, is in one school building all day long, and this would be a suggestion if about 60% of students uh, decide to attend face-to-face -face school in person, but then we have the 40% that is at home that we will still be serving. So the school day will start with student intake. It will probably take all adults in the building for that to work efficiently. The first class is compiled of up to 15 students. In most cases, these classes are about eight to 10 students. So there is enough room for social distancing in CLU classes. Because we're special education, we have a, a lower threshold for a maximum number of students. So we could have this first class be all face-to-face, -face, meet Monday through Friday, one hour, just as a typical school day would look. But then we're going to take a class period, and that CLU teacher is going to support a class of students who are learning from home. And as you can see, there are three hours provided within this week for face-to-face -face time over Google Meets on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. During this block on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the teacher would be providing virtual feedback. They would have the option to have a Google Meets, especially if there's a test or something due on Friday. But this block will be, you know, primarily designated to support the students scheduled in Class B. For this next block, you could have another class of students meet face-to-face. -face. 
Then you would have your lunch period. You could have another class period meeting face-to-face. And then, of course, we have our, our planning period, another class meeting virtually, and a planning period. This is one option. Let me show you another option. This would be if we had about 30% of our students showing and if this teacher started the day at one school teaching and then traveled to the base school in the afternoon. Now what's great about this option is there's a lot of flexibility with uh, having the Google Classroom as an option. So in this school right here, let's say that in class A we have about 10 students but only half of them are showing up to school. We could take these two hours right here Start with this class period where the students at school are meeting face to face, but again, it's only half this class, so they're all spread out. It's a very small student teacher ratio. The second block is spent supporting the students that are at home, similar to the other schedule where some of these periods are face to face meetings, some are responding in Google Meets, providing feedback, grading uh, assignment submissions. Um, participating in a chat, all of these things could happen right here. And class A is made up of the same students in PowerSchool, but they're served differently. This student then travels to their base school and has a planning period and has one class that meets face-to-face -face at their base school every day. So if there are about 20 to 30 CLUE students at this base school, you essentially have a class made up of students that are in person and a class made up of students who are virtual. And then we have the planning period at the end of the day. This is a sample high school schedule. Here's a sample middle school schedule. Again, in this situation, we have a teacher that does not leave their school building. They will start the day with student intake and have their first class face to face. The second class is a combination hybrid with three days of face-to-face -face instruction in Google Meets. Then we have the planning period and a face-to-face -face class before lunch, another planning period, and then we have our virtual Google Meets classroom again. So that's if you have about 60% of students showing up in the school building, then we are going to find a way to teach them face-to-face. -face. If you only have half or less showing up, here's another model. This is great for students, for teachers rather, who are traveling because in this case you'll notice there's only one face-to-face -face class per day. So we're going to start at school A in the morning and have class A that's going to meet face-to-face -face on Monday but virtually on Tuesday. They're going to meet virtually on Tuesday because after the teacher has planning and travels to the base school, they're going to meet face-to-face -face with class C on Tuesday. So you can see a is Monday, C is Tuesday, A is Wednesday, C is Thursday, A is Friday. So we can have a hybrid model using Google Meets on those other days. Then we have Class D that is virtual all five days of the week. The win for all students is that all CLUE students will continue to be provided with age-appropriate, gifted, and talented services, even if schools close again for safety during the pandemic. That is our goal, is equity of services and serving all kids, all CLUE kids, with our CLUE curriculum and being served by CLUE teachers. If you have questions, please reach out by emailing us at clue at scsk12.org.